What the hell? I'm sorry, man. Oh, you're sorry? Whose idea was it to let a bomb in here? No, no, sir, I'm, I'm not a bomb. Oh, no. Have you taken a look at yourself lately? Daddy, you wrecked me. Excuse me, uh, what's wrong, sir? This is what's wrong. I've been coming here for breakfast for the last two years, so why is this guy here all of a sudden? I am sorry, I don't understand what the problem is, sir. I'll tell you what the problem is. I lost my appetite as soon as I saw this bum. No, 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 sir, there's been a huge misunderstanding. I'm not a bum. No one asked you at all. Take your bag and get the hell out of here, now. And why, why the hell did you even let him in here? Okay, okay, no problem, I'll go, no problem. Sorry for the inconvenience, sorry. That's right, that's right. I never want to see you again. Then the manager apologized to the whole restaurant and we all got free coffee. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. So Mr. Robbins is supposed to introduce us to the new CEO. What? New CEO? Yeah. I was hoping he would appoint me. Hey, how are you? Gentlemen. Uh, this is Thomas Peterson, your new CEO. Thomas, your subordinates. That's uh, Eddie Brooks and Ryan Olson. Nice to meet you guys. Uh, nice to meet you, sir. Uh, excuse me, uh, haven't we met before? I don't think so. Uh, but it's weird. Your face is very, very familiar. Maybe this morning. Sorry, don't remember that. So we gotta go, guys. Ryan, we're gonna get back to you. And don't you forget, tomorrow we've got the meeting with the new investors, and we're counting on you put together a great presentation for the new project. As you say, sir. Yeah. All right. Over here. Eddie. Workspace. Eddie. That was him. He's the bomb. What are you talking about? The bomb from the restaurant. He's our new CEO. You're out of your mind. I swear, it's, it's him. It's definitely him. Come on, Ryan. And believe me, I don't know how. He must have stolen an expensive suit, forged some documents, and now this B-U-M is pretending to be a CEO. It doesn't make sense. Ryan, think about what you're saying. You either prove it somehow, or you just leave it. Maybe you're right. Knock, knock. Good evening. Ryan, come in, come in. So, uh, you have any questions about the presentation? Um, no, no. Uh, I'm not here about the presentation. Uh, actually, I wanted to ask you, where were you last night? After, after work? Well, I went straight back home. Why? <laughs> uh, I thought I saw you last night, uh, but <laughs> you were not really looking your best. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you understand everything. Maybe it's time to stop pretending to be someone you are not. Excuse me? I know everything, Mr. Patterson. Don't pretend. Yes? Okay, I'll be right down. I'm sorry, I have to go now, but uh, you know what? Maybe in the future, let's just stick to the work-related questions. Hmm? Okay. Oh, 
Come on, Eddie. To prove. Okay, I'll find some evidence. Okay, okay. That's our project. Now let me discuss with you the best bits, the likely outcome, including your return on the investment as forecasted by our analysts. <clears throat> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why are you switching slides, huh? Let's all see your real face, Mr. Patterson, huh? I don't know how, but Mr. Patterson has pulled the wool over our eyes. Where he found the clothes, how he forged the documents, I don't know. But he is definitely not a CEO. Look at the photo yourself. Hmm? He's obviously a scammer, which I kicked out of a restaurant recently. And Mr. Robbins, are we seriously going to let him run the company? Really? No. Isn't the fact that he's in the office at all a big enough mistake? Okay, please excuse me for a minute. You see? <laughs> you see, it's him. It's definitely him. As soon as he's exposed, he immediately runs away. Hmm? I think everything is clear here, yeah? And I sincerely hope that next time, Mr. Robbins, you will consider more carefully the candidates for the position of CEO. What's all this? Mr. Patterson, I really hope you can explain what's going on here. Yes, of course, sir. Yes, that's, that's me in the photos, and that's my backpack with my old clothes that I wear every time I volunteer. What? <laughs> yes, I do volunteer in my spare time. Right now, we're helping to build a shelter for the homeless. You know, you don't know about this because I've never mentioned that to you. I didn't put it in my CV, I didn't want to talk about it or advertise it in any way because this is what I do as a, as a private person. That's not for publicity. You know, I, I try to help people, try to make my small contribution to a better society. Mm -hmm. That can't be true. He's making it up, huh? You see? Listen, uh, even if I were homeless, is that a crime? You scornfully got me out of the restaurant because of my appearance. Now you're trying to embarrass me in front of all the investors. Why? Because you once saw me dressed poorly? I'm sorry. I didn't know. I thought he tricked us. Uh, I didn't mean anything like that. I, Mr. Ryan. I think we've seen and heard enough out of you today. And it's your real face that we've seen here. You're vile and intolerant. You, you judge people by their appearance and you, and, and you humiliate for your own gain. So Ryan, I think it's the go. Cause you are fired. Mr. Robbins, you can't. Shut up! Security's gonna come and escort you out, and we're gonna pack up your stuff, put it in a box, and ship it to you. And don't you even think, think about using this job as a reference in the future. Do you understand me? Get out of here! Go! Okay. I'm so sorry for what you had to see here today. I apologize, especially for my ex-employee. And if you don't mind, we're gonna let Mr. Peterson finish his presentation. And after, we'd love to hear more about your volunteer work because it's a worthy cause and we'd love to participate. Thank you so much. Please go ahead. Thank you. 
So, as I was saying, the revenue is gonna kill you.